Transmissions Element 120 is a small, free game that was designed with a Source engine, and it's based on the Half-Life 2 universe and exists within the lore and in the world of it. Yes, yes, the game is free, however it does possess a certain level of quality to it. It seems to have been made by a single person, and for that uh, high, high cost of nothing, you do get about 45, to, uh, 45 minutes to an hour's worth of enjoyment. It's very simple, it's very straightforward, and there's not really that much to say about it. But there are, there are a few things I would like to say anyway, because that's what I do. The story is basically non-existent. Uh, don't play it for the story, the story is paper thin, if it's even there at all. If you have not played Half-Life 2, then you won't even understand the tiny, tiny pieces of story that are in this game at all. It, Admittedly, I know little about the Half-Life 2 story my myself, so maybe there was some sort of aspect of this that I didn't quite understand or appreciate. Either way, the story was not in any way interesting. Now, again, this takes place in the Half-Life 2 universe, and it is a 45-minute romp through train stations and sewers and alleyways where you will fight some head crabs and some combine soldiers and whatnot with the standard fair Half-Life 2 weapons. While you won't see anything new in the way of content here with one exception, it is nice to see something fresh coming out of this uh, lore in this universe, especially because Half-Life 3 is in perpetual limbo. The game centers around you waking up in a train and you have to wander around finding out what's going on. That is the, that is the extent of the story, and there's no mega revelation, there's nothing special, there's no huge reveal at the end, it's just almost purely centered on its gameplay, and it is meant in a way to give a player who is waiting for a new Half-Life content, should it ever actually be released, to at least have something fresh in their gaming library. And since it is free, and it only takes about 45 or so minutes to complete, if you are a fan of Half-Life, or if you like Source games in general, then there's really no reason for you to not try this game. The gameplay itself centers around basic standard for uh, standard fair Half-Life 2 content, with one new exception, that being this gravity propulsion device that you use to shoot at things and it makes them fly back. You can also use this to jump and aim at the ground to boost yourself high into the air, the mechanics of which are used extensively after you acquire this tool, and that is the gimmick, I suppose, of elements, Element 120. It is not particularly challenging, there are no incredible puzzles to solve apart from move this box to jump up to a higher spot or use the gravity gun thingy to boost yourself up onto a high platform. There's no real necess necessity here for strategy. I don't recall any physics-based puzzles or similar Half-Life uh, style uh, pathfinding that you are not used to. The way I see this game is that it's just there for Half-Life fans to go through for about an hour's worth of time, uh, play a Half-Life looking game with Half-Life weapons, fighting Half-Life enemies for a bit, and then putting it all to a close. So you're into Half-Life, if you're into short little spats of uh, delving back into that universe, then by all means, maybe you've played Half-Life 2 way too much, over and over, and you can't help but cry yourself to sleep every night, asking where oh where is Half-Life 3? Well, it's probably not coming out, let's face the facts, and this is at least something that we can enjoy in the meantime. It is atmospheric. It does feel like a proper Half-Life 2 style game. You could definitely believe that this was perhaps made by Valve. And maybe it'll just help you get over the sorrow and the crippling depression that comes along with the realization that Half-Life 3 is probably just a pipe dream at this point.